Welcome to Lala Rink. Merrimack gets set to take on Vermont. Great to have you with us. Vermont in the traveling green. They'll go from left to right. Puck is on the ice. We're underway here in North Andover. Breyer sends it in. Audio got a stick on that clear to the corner. Merrimack able to dig the puck free. Here's Ziblack. He'll fire one right into the midsection. And Oscar Audio makes the save. Merrimack with the first two shots on goal here, Mike. And here's a steal. Merrimack working the puck in deep right to the goal. And a pass to Pony. Score! That puck was knocked in by Tristan Crozier. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That was Jeffries who was there. And he pots the first goal of the game at 5 12. Merrimack will take the 1 0 lead. Warriors had bodies down low and they were able to finish it off. And in the zone, here's Yoel Mata, Edmonton draft choice. Back to the point shot off the back wall. Centering pass shot by Walter is blocked. He's a dangerous, deadly guy. Liebel sends it in deep. Seifert, loose puck in front! And he had the backhand on his stick and he couldn't get the shot on. Up on top, it's Demon. Over to Brier at the near circle. Brier holding, looking, shooting, center, score! I was about to say Audio made the save, but it went through the pads. And at 10.35, Merrimack has built a 2-0 lead. Should be Ben Brier's goal. They keep the pressure on. That line was in the middle of a change. Leibold a good opportunity. And then Brier ends up getting, you see he'll let it go here. He's just able to get it around the man and then uh, you know, got to try to get that stick in there to block it as much as possible. But yes, indeed, Catamounts. You mentioned, Mike, how good their penalty kill is. Uh, tenth in the nation, 82.7 percent. Quick shot, Jeffries. He had the open side. Over to Calvary, trying to work his way in. A toe drag save, and Audio makes the second save. Warriors looking for numbers off the line change. Calvary with the steal. He sends it ahead to Forsmark. Two on one. Forsmark holding, firing, save. Loose puck. Briar couldn't get the rebound. So. You've got three single eliminates. Uh, uh, yeah, right. Say that three times fast. Single elimination games that'll be played. Bookman scores from in between the circle. Zach Bookman makes it a three nothing game, and uh, that's a big goal for Merrimack. Fourth of the year for Bookman. Watch he gets the puck off the boards here, and it is kept in. <laughs> nice play to keep it in. And it he just goes right to the dot, gets the puck back, and nobody's on him. 14 like 3 the Capone, time. Yeah, and Capone, the one who kept it in at the point. That's in the game now, 23 to 10. Merrimack in this period, it's 12 to 2. And Capone gets around his man, backhander save audio. And as I mentioned, 20 consecutive victories. What a run the Huskies are on. Vermont brings the puck in the offensive zone, right to the goal, shot! Borgil goes down to block it, and I believe that shot is in. Vermont gets on the board here at 5.45. It'll be Yoel Mata with the goal, and the Catamounts are right back in it, 3-1. to one. Vermont's had a couple of chances, breakaway chances like that. And you see Mata gets, picks up the puck at the blue line, splits the D and goes in. A nice play by him, he lifts it up, and into the net past Borgil. 5.45 the time, and Yoel Mato picks up his seventh goal of the season. Esselin winds it over to Messner. His shot through traffic hits the leg. Now Felton, he fires in front! Esselin scores! It won't get any easier than that for Hugo Esselin. The puck was right on his stick with an empty net at 6.36. Merrimack gets it right back. It's a 4-1 game. You see the shot went off the skate of audio and came to the right boards. Felton then sent it across the ice. Vermont just not shutting off those passing lanes. And Eslin was wide open at the side of the net. With 10 seconds to play. So Merrimack will post the victory here at Lala Rink. And the Warriors, for the first time in program history, will finish second in the Hockey East regular season standings as they defeat the Vermont Catamounts 4-1. What a season for this hockey club, Mike.